Mina san, konnichiwa. Kore wa watashi no daiichi. Nihongo no benkyo no bideologu toyukoto desu. Watashi wa nihongo de chosen shio to moimasu. Demo taihen mo to moimasu. Watashi wa jiko shokai watashi wa sanju nanasai de Nihongo san nen mai benkyo suru koto ni shimashita. Taihen datta yo. Demo Watashi wa korusu o mitsu o torimashita, taskimashita. Ima watashi wa hitori de moichido benkyo shi nakareba narimasen. Sore wa watashi wa kono video logu o hajime mashita. Hatsu on shitari. Hanasu, Renshu, Shitari, Dekiru Yoni, Kono Video Logo, Shimas. Hai. Ima Watashi wa JLPT N ni Iro iro na hon o kaimashita. Kore wa Kore desu. Kore mo. Watashi wa kono hon o amari yomi hajime masen. Desu ka? Hmm. Watashi no, watashi wa, watashi no korusu o owatta bakari de, watashi wa hima de kono hon o dekiru to moimasu. Okay, I'll do some English. <laughs> um, I need to do this, the Japanese, obviously, to practice my uh, speaking and all, but, and it's fun, even though I stink at it. <laughs> but um, I'm making this uh, log uh, to practice uh, to, to, in addition to my regular log, uh, which is written only, uh, so I can practice speaking and, I don't know, just thought it'd be different. Um, I took... I've taken three classes at the local community college uh, for Japanese, and uh, that's aside, uh, that that really helped me a lot. So, uh, oh, uh, yeah, I did also pass the uh, the, J the JLPT N3 after um, completing those courses, so that was pretty cool. It was very close, almost didn't pass it, but anyway, um, this year I retook uh, the 202 course at the community college uh, to brush up, and because I didn't learn all the grammar points they teach the first time around, and the review was good, although obviously compared to the other students in the class, I was I had a lot more vocabulary and, and whatnot, but still, um, a lot of the grammar was, was very good practice, so uh, that was, uh, I'm glad I did that. But uh, now I am going to be using those books I showed you. <laughs> I want to, um, I want to take the JLPT N2 this year, and these books are... Well, they were very highly recommended to me. <laughs> so I'm going to be attempting those books. Um, I did start the reading comprehension one a little bit with a tutor over the Internet. Other than that, though, I haven't – I just flipped through them. And so, yeah, um, I need to get started on that. Um, let's see. So what, I, what I'm doing for the – Improving my Japanese to pass the N2 this year. Um, I use the I use SRS flashcards uh, for vocabulary, which like a lot of people use Anki. I have Anki, but I really I use a different one. Um, flashcards Deluxe on my iPad and iPhone. And 
also I'm starting to make myself watch anime without the subtitles. Um, on the internet, that's like all everyone says. They say, watch anime without subtitles. That's the only way you can improve your Japanese. But you obviously don't understand very much. And it gets kind of boring. And then when you go talk to your friends, you know, who like anime, you're like, oh, have you seen this show? You're like, yeah, I saw it. Oh, what would you think about this or this or this character or what about this scene? Or, and you're like, I guess I didn't understand that part. <laughs> Which is not good, um, but I'm uh, going to force myself to do it without the subs. I mean, it's not like I spent that much time talking to other people about anime, and uh, right now I'm watching Fairy Tale without subs, and I'm very surprised that this I, I can follow a whole lot of the jokes and a whole lot of stuff without the subtitles. Um, Fairy Tale is very forgiving like that, <laughs> and because I tried some. Uh, I just you know, this, this season's anime on uh, Crunchyroll, and I was like, "Oh yeah, I can I can uh, understand anime without subtitles." I just watched Fairy Tale. I was it was easy, it was easy enough. It, it, I got through, and not as much. <laughs> some anime, yes, and some anime is is uh, you're gonna you feel like you're you're missing too much. You're gonna want the subtitles, but um, I recommend Fairy Tale for for right now. I'm gonna be going back to watching a lot of that, and there's hundreds of episodes, so that's good. Um, also, my sister sent me some manga to read, and so I'm going to be reading those. I know manga. I've read some manga already. Uh, Hikaru no Go. Um, I ordered it from Japan for over a hundred dollars, but it was like twenty no, twenty-three <laughs> books. <laughs> well, anyway, yeah, a little bit expensive, but I, I thought it would last me the whole year. It didn't. I actually blew through it in about in a few weeks. <laughs> um, Furigana for all the kanji, and there's not that much text, so you can read it pretty quickly. Um, if you read a manga that doesn't have Furigana, that'll slow you down some more, though. Yeah. Anyway, um, so I guess I'm going to use this video log to just talk about myself studying Japanese. So it might be really boring for some of you, maybe interesting. I don't know. Um, Speaking Japanese on this camera is very hard, and I, I've watched um, some other people do it, and I was kind of impressed. Now I'm more impressed because I know it's hard. I don't know if they edit it. <laughs> I <laughs> wrote it down in Japanese, and then I tried reading it, and then you can just see my eyes going left to right, and I'm like, ah, oh, it's no good. So I, I just kind of freeformed it. Um, and forgot some of the stuff I had written. But anyway, uh, I guess this is probably long enough for a first video, so I will upload it. <laughs>